human health and animal health are intensely tied together. Uh, they're one to one. Uh, we learn a lot of our models for treating uh, human diseases with animal models and animal research. Um, likewise, we can lear learn the reverse sometimes. Human medicine sometimes applies to veterinary medicine. Um, and being that we're so closely together, being that we not only consume animals uh, for food, uh, livestock and agriculture animals, but we live in very, very close quarters uh, with our companion animals, human medicine and, and veterinary medicine are tied together. And, and University of Pennsylvania, the veterinary school, does an excellent job at bringing out and enhancing uh, the, the medical aspect of that human-animal bond. Um, we call it one medicine for a reason. When you come back to basics, a, a veterinarian is really a comparative biologist. That's what we are trained to do. We are trained to look at many different species, a dog, a cat, a horse, a cow, a goat, a pig, not a human, but a human is just another species. So my training as a veterinarian and the ability to look at the relationship between what goes on in one animal species as compared to another animal species, i.e. the human, is very, very clear. We share a lot of the same pathogens, we share a lot of the same mechanisms of response to disease, and in fact, the more and more we learn, many of the diseases are the same in both veterinary patients as well as human patients. So it's a very easy relationship, easy uh, connection to make to recognize the relationship between veterinary medicine and human medicine. And in fact, there's a whole discipline now in veterinary medicine called translational veterinary research. And that basically is translating the research and the information we gain from animals into humans. Well, the new concept now is One Health, that when we talk about uh, sanitation and food, it's, it's what goes on on a dairy farm that translates to how the quality of milk is, or on a bee farm, the quality of, of, of the beef. And, and if we can control uh, bacteria on the farm, if we can control different diseases on the farm, that translates to a safe food product. You know, many of the diseases that we see in humans, we also see in animals. So we can learn from animals um, about these diseases in general. Furthermore, um, you know, there's an issue of zoonotic diseases, and these are diseases that are pa can be passed between species, between humans and um, animals. And what we're seeing is an increasing number of uh, diseases, uh, of viruses often, that jump from animals to uh, humans. And that's, you know, veterinarians are trained in detecting these diseases and helping stop their spread and um, also are some of the key researchers involved in um, trying to prevent this, these potential um, horrendous sort of episodes that we've been seeing. As I said, veterinarians are at their core comparative biologists. And as comparative biologists, I think that many times the public does not recognize the relationship between what goes on in an animal and what goes on in a human. But the training as a veterinarian slash comparative biologist really puts us in a position to ideally be able to see that relationship and, and benefit both animal health and human health. And again, one of the things I, I chose Penn for at the time was they have a huge and strong background in not just clinical medicine, but also applied clinical and basic research. So the university was an ideal place for me to be trained. Well, what's really interesting about um, biomedical research is that most of our biomedical research is sort of based on a foundation of looking at animals' uh, disease um, and then applying that to humans. So whether it's naturally occurring disease or animal models, and veterinarians are the only professionals um, in the country trained in comparative medicine. And so I hope to use my degrees, my clinical degrees, as well as my scientific degrees to um, go into research, go into biomedical research to hopefully help uh, prevent and treat disease both in humans and in animals.